Hi, this is Ed Gregory for photosincolor.com and today I'm going to show you how to edit amazing photographs of the sky with stars at nighttime in Lightroom. Theme tune. Okay, so it looks like I'm jumping today. Woo. So today I'm going to be editing a photograph sent in by Ricky Fernandez, who sent me this photograph via the Photos in Color Facebook page. So if you want me to edit one of your photographs, just head over and send me one of your photographs. So he sent me this amazing photograph with star of a starry sky, essentially, with a palm tree in it, it looks like. And I'm going to show you how to edit it so that your photographs look like that dramatic image with a galaxy and everything above, but I'm only going to use Lightroom. So let's jump in and have a look. So this is the image. Now I think it's an amazing image and a great starting point for what we're going to be editing today. So let's start over, well, let's have a look and see how we shot it actually. So it was 30 seconds at F4 using a 10 millimeter lens, um, Nikon D3, uh, D 5300. So really wide angle lens and 30 seconds. So we're going to have some noise in there for sure. Wait for that to load. Yep, but that's not a problem for this type of an image. So let's hop over to the develop module. Now for an image like this, you don't necessarily want to go in and start sliding all of these sliders around and going like, oh, okay, let's, let's do something like this. That's not what you would want to do. Essentially, I only lifted the exposure there anyway. Like, okay, so this is it. And then you gotta pull down the shadows. Go, okay, kinda looks kinda cool. I wouldn't edit this photograph like this though. I would leave all of this pretty much as it is. Okay, I'd boost my highlights and I might even lift my shadows a hair actually and I would lift my exposure, but that's all I would do. Because what we're going to be doing today is looking at all of these tools up here. The first thing I'd do is you can see here that there's essentially, this is the Milky Way going through, but it's not particularly well defined. So to help define this, I'd use the brush tool and essentially I'd draw it. So you're going to boost it, well not draw it, you're just gonna highlight what's there. You can see it's lighter here. There's a lighter section going up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm literally just going to take the exposure and my highlights and I'm just going to enhance this. But what's important, bring a flow down to about 65. The reason for this is you can see I'm drawing it on here and essentially I'm just building it up. Okay. What's really important is that I build it up in sections to make it really feel like what I'm doing is I'm just using what was already there. And I want to build in this. And don't worry. Don't think, oh, what, what am I creating? Sorry, I just moved the actual thing there. Um, that doesn't matter right now. I'm even going to boost this even higher. Okay, great. And then I'm going to add another one and I'm going to bring the exposure back. And for this one, I'm going to essentially draw little lines coming through it. So essentially, it's just built this little bit of depth and we can add some swirls into it. Great, so that already has brought in this element of there been something more of a galaxy out there. Oh, let me get rid of those last two strokes though. There we go. Uh, I'm just going to erase for this one. I want to just erase a few little sections. There we go. So let's come out of this. Let's look at the before and the after. So now we have a bit of a galaxy going through. Now for this next section, we're gonna be using the radial filter because remember, everything wants to radiate out from the galaxy section. So let's draw the radial filter, okay? Something like this. Reset everything by double clicking effect. And what we're going to do here is the first thing is we want to add in the yellow. So this is gonna be all this section down here. And we're actually going to come inside this tool here, and we want to add in some of the orange and yellow. Look what it's done down here. It looks amazing. Okay? So that looks great. But we don't want it all to be happening, so it's radiated from here. In fact, we're going to boost up this pink as well. 
that's looking fantastic now, a bit more of the yellow, great. But what we're gonna do is take the brush tool and we're gonna hit erase and we're gonna boost the flow up and make it a nice large brush and essentially, we're just gonna paint out this side. So look at that, all we've done is added this, but it's pushed away from the galaxy. So now what we're gonna do is add a new one and we're gonna do the same thing again but this time it's gonna be slightly different, watch. We're gonna reset, and this time our colors are blue. So we're gonna go into the blues, and then down here we're actually gonna pull kind of this kind of a blue here. But you can see it's gone way too far, so you can just pull it down here. Ooh, and that looks now fantastic. I love this. But again, we're gonna go brush, erase, and this time we're gonna paint out the opposite side. So now we've created this kind of a, a, a feeling that it's radiating from this section, but we still are missing something in the middle. To add this into the middle, we're actually gonna come back to the brush tool. We're gonna add in the magentas, okay? That's what's really important, the magentas, the pinks. So for this, we're gonna come right into this pink section. And remember, we can overdo things and then pull it back later. So let's just paint this section in here just, so it's a little bit too blue actually. I want to go more to, let's see if we can get more of a pink out of this. There we go, so actually it's actually right over here in the reds because it's moving with other things. Now that's starting to look really exciting, but I don't, I don't want to kind of ruin the image and overdo it, okay? So that looks good. Now we're going to come into this here, which is the um, graduated filter, and we want to add in a filter that's coming down, okay? Down from the top. And, okay, let's reset this, because all sorts of funny colors going on here. So down from the top, what we want to do is add in a little bit more red, okay? So that's what's gonna bring it in here. And this is starting now. Just have this little red tinge up here, which is looking really nice. Now I want to bring in one more of these over here, and we're gonna keep this as the red up here. Okay, and we're gonna actually go into the magentas. Now remember, you can go way too far with this and be like, oh, you've ruined the image, okay? But that's fine, because all we do is we reduce all of these things back. Great. I'm actually gonna come back into my radial filter, and I'm gonna turn down my blue one. It went too far and definitely this orange one, went that little bit too far. Pull it back, great. So the next thing I want to do is take the brush tool, and now what I want to do is reset, and then this is where I'm really gonna make this section come alive. We're gonna boost the highlights up, we are going to lift the clarity, okay? And we're going to pull back the shadows, just a little bit. And literally, we're gonna paint over this middle section, okay? Let's, let's put it on 100% flow. And look how now we've all of a sudden brought this Milky Way. because We've already added the colors and everything ourselves outside of it. And it's looking amazing. But what I do want to do actually, I want to add in, uh, I want to lift up a little bit of this. We're just going to throw in here. I'm going to lift that up. I'm going to add in the purples to that. That is starting now to come alive. So let's come out of this. We've done a lot of editing. And let's come into the highlights. I want to add in the oranges to the highlights, like so. And I'm gonna add in this blue to the shadows. So that's gonna really pull that back now, and like so. And that, for me, is looking great. We're gonna boost the clarity. Watch what happens when we lift the clarity on an image like this. It starts to do this and we're gonna lift up the vibrance. Not too far though, because we're gonna overdo the blues. So let's look at the before. Let's look at the after. Now we have this really dramatic look. I think I may have overdone though with the whites. So we're gonna pull that back a little bit. I know that's that one, the galaxy. That looks great. And then I'm gonna add in I'm just gonna darken these side sections here. So essentially I just graduated filter and we just pull back the exposure. In fact, we're not gonna do that light section because it looks nice here. And we're gonna do the same over here. 
and then we'll do one more from the bottom to really make it nice and dark. So we bring the focus in. Now let's look before and after. Before looks amazing, I love it. And after we've really brought everything out. So that is how I personally would create one of those amazing starscape images in Lightroom. Now, please let me know if you like this image or you don't like this image, but give me a thumbs up anyway. And also, if you've got any ideas for tutorials, drop them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching my video, and this was Ed Gregory for photosincolor.com. Boom.